This super simple, soup ritual, melted pounds of nagging fat after my humiliating honeymoon discover how women and men over 50 are dropping pounds like crazy with a simple daily ritual that, burns stubborn abdominal fat increases fat burning metabolism after 50 kills hunger and the most intense cravings without cutting calories eliminates rebound weight gain flatter more firm stomach without skipping meals or eating less give this waist slimming secret 48 hours then weigh yourself in the morning women and men over 50 are buzzing about a new wave of weight loss soups that melt away stubborn stomach fat like crazy. Why do they work so well? It's a combination of the right ingredients that kill hunger. Along with using the latest science to pack this convenient comfort food with nutrients that make belly fat melt faster. Nutrients that most women and men over 50 aren't getting nearly enough of. Penn State University researchers found that the combination of solid foods and liquid tricks the body into feeling full about 400 calories sooner than normal. That means you'll naturally be eating less. Without suffering through intense hunger or cravings. Think of it like Mother Nature's appetite suppressant. However, I must warn you. Not all soup, or soup diets, are created equal. In fact, most don't work because they focus on restricting calories or use the wrong ingredients, which triggers cravings and can lead to weight gain. And most soups aren't spiked with key nutrients that optimize fat burning in the body after 50, when your hormones are drastically different than they were just a few years ago. Jessica, a 53-year-old mom from Virginia was looking for relief from her constant achiness and fatigue and she thought eating these new soups would be easiest because of her busy lifestyle. When she craved comfort food, she had a bowl of soup. Within days, pounds starting pouring off, motivating Jessica even more. In the end, she went down from a size 18 to a size 10 without completely changing her diet. Just remember, you can't eat any old soup to get these kind of jaw-dropping results. Just follow this daily ritual and watch as fat melts off your body if nothing has ever worked for you before. Maybe you've tried keto and low-carb diets or Weight Watchers. Or maybe you've tried skipping meals and cutting way back on calories. Or eating nothing but protein and veggies. If none of those ever work for you, then you're in luck. Because if you can take a spoonful of soup, lift it up to your mouth, swallow it, and then repeat until you're full. Then this will work for you. It's that simple. There's no way you can fail unless you hate soup. And no, I'm not talking about canned soup you buy at the grocery store that's filled with added chemicals, processed foods, and nasty ingredients. Or certain homemade soups that use ingredients that trigger fat storage in adults over 50. These are different. Even better, the weight loss is so easy to maintain because you can still have dessert like a big piece of chocolate cake after your soup. And the weight will still come off. And here's the real secret. These slimming soups have a built-in appetite suppressant. Thanks to a handful of little-known super nutrients that help kill cravings, eliminate mindless snacking, and all but end emotional eating. That's the real reason why this works so well. Because if you're hungry all the time, no matter how healthy you're eating, it's just not going to work. You know yourself better than anyone, and when's the last time being constantly hungry led to any substantial weight loss? The soup plan for a tiny waist high, my name is Josh. I have an unusual true story to share about how I saved my own life, dot and lost over 100 pounds eating soup. So if you're wondering whether you can burn belly fat every week by simply eating more soup. The answer is yes. But it's not what you think. These aren't soups from a can or a restaurant. Yet you can make them right at home with just a handful of ingredients. When I started sharing my recipes online, people from all over the world started slimming down. Yet the secret to these naturally slimming soups is. They contain a handful of herbs, spices, and minerals that trigger fat burning, especially around your stomach area. Don't worry, I'll give you the entire list in just a minute and explain why each one works in detail. That way you can use them at home as soon as tonight. But the real reason they work is because they unclog an overworked detox system in the body that affects 80% of women over 50. This detox system is a complex network of capillaries and vessels that help the body flush out fat. And when it's backed up, it leads to fat piling up on the body. So it's not about eating fewer calories. Or skipping meals. Or eating less. 
None of those matter if your internal detox system is slow, sluggish, sludgy. So today, we're going to fix it. Frustrated dieters are starting to realize this as the missing link. What I'm going to share with you today has been overlooked by the top doctors, experts, and dietitians for years. That's because they're all so busy, they don't have the time to research how the body changes as you get older. However, researchers from Stanford University discovered that this slowdown causes fat storage to double in women. And it triggers the creation of more fat cells that expand your waistline and make your belly bigger. Which makes losing weight on any diet virtually impossible. So if you've been dieting for years and the pounds never come off. Or maybe you've tried everything and since nothing ever works, you give up because what's the point? Or maybe your mom was overweight and you think you're doomed to the same fate. Well, today we're going to change that. Before I go any further, let me warn you what I'm going to share today flies in the face of traditional medicine and human anatomy. It's not about eating more vegetables. Or exercising more. Or going on a crash diet. Unfortunately, we've gotten in wrong for years. And both you and I have been the ones to suffer. With growing waistlines, dangerous belly fat, and cellulite in all the wrong places. That's why I'm writing to you today. Because through my own frustrating journey, where I ballooned up to over 300 pounds, I stumbled upon a real-life working miracle that took over 100 pounds off my body. And literally saved my life. It left my doctor scratching his head. And my wife ecstatic that we get to spend the rest of our lives together. There are plenty of people who want me to keep my mouth shut. Because if I tell you how easy this is, then millions of dollars could be lost by big companies who prey on the sick. However, if you haven't been feeling like yourself lately, then what I have for you here today can be life-changing. First, let me tell you exactly who I am and how I stumbled across this weight loss breakthrough. As I mentioned before, my name is Josh. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dietitian, And I'm not a personal trainer. I'm just a normal guy from Georgia who married his high school sweetheart when she was the only friend I ever had. And after our wedding, where I banned all the photographers because I didn't want any pictures taken of me. I stumbled across a simple daily ritual that saved my own life however, first I want to share something with you that I haven't told anyone. Not my friends, not my parents, and not even my wife of over 15 years. So here's the God's honest truth. It sucks being fat. And I should know. Up until a few years ago, I spent almost my entire life overweight. And as hard as it is for me to talk about, I know my story might help you when no one else understands what you're going through. So here's the quick story. Since I was a kid, I've struggled with my weight. All the way back to elementary school, kids would make fun of me, call me names, and bully me constantly. No one would sit with me on the school bus as I walked down the bus aisle looking for a seat, I could already hear the other kids laughing at me. Look at the pig. Hey fat butt. Hope you eat the teachers so we get out of class earlier. And of course, no one would let me sit by them. The verbal abuse was just so hard. I wanted to cry. Yet deep down I knew that'd only make things worse. And even though this was by far the worst time in my life, where I was so miserable I didn't even want to go out in public or even stand in front of mirror in the morning. It was also the start of my journey. Time passed and things didn't get any easier. I was depressed. Never wanted to get out of bed in the morning. And I quickly grew to hate my own life I still remember one day at lunch during high school. I was looking for a table when one of the popular kids walked by, bumped into me on purpose, then shoved me to the ground. I fell flat on my face. Food went flying everywhere, all over my clothes. And all I could do was pick up my tray and keep walking to my table. I was so embarrassed, yet as sad as it is to say. That was just the beginning. A humiliating honeymoon photo led me to discover a daily ritual that melted over 100 pounds a few years later, I ended up marrying my high school sweetheart. We went to Nashville for our honeymoon. And one day we went to a bird park. As we were exploring all these rare and exotic birds, our tour guide asked if I wanted a picture taken. I said sure and didn't think much of it. However, when we finished the tour and got our pictures, I was shocked. I looked huge. 
It hit me like a ton of bricks because I wasn't just a little overweight. I was easily over 300 pounds. We went back to the cabin, and I asked my wife if I had really put on that much weight. And she said, well, yeah, but I love you regardless so it doesn't really matter to me. That photo turned my world upside down. All of a sudden, the same feelings and emotions from high school came rushing back. Those feelings of being alone. Depressed. Miserable. Unloved. It only took one picture to bring all of those horrible feelings back. I was in denial. And it took me days to accept the fact that I was still that same person who got picked on every day back in school. That's when I hit my breaking point I just didn't feel like myself anymore. I was tired all the time. I could barely get going in the morning. And then I couldn't fall asleep at night. I felt so run down that I didn't even have the energy to go on a walk with my wife after dinner. Or take our dog to the dog park. My weight was higher than it had ever been before. And I just knew that something wasn't right. But I couldn't put my finger on it. Stanford University nicknamed this fat storing nightmare, lymphatic slowdown, if you spent the last few months eating healthier without losing a single pound. Or maybe your rings fit tight, your knees feel a little creaky, and your body feels more tired than usual. These signs all point to a congested lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is a network of capillaries and vessels that help the body get rid of toxins, excess fluids and fat. However, the lymph can easily be overloaded with chemicals, pesticides from fruits and veggies, and a variety of other pollutants lurking in the air we breathe. Plus, everyday stress is also shuts down the lymph. When this system gets slowed down and congested, it can sabotage your weight loss efforts. An estimated 80% of women over 50 have a congested lymphatic system that dumps fat around your belly, hips and thighs. When the lymph flow is slow and congested, it leads to an accumulation of body fat, says Bruno Chickley, MD, director of the Lymph Drainage Therapy and Brain Therapy programs in Scottsdale, Arizona. Think of your lymphatic system as a highway. When there's cars lined up in rush hour traffic, other cars can't squeeze in. The same thing happens with your fat molecules. A slow lymphatic system can no longer properly transport fat where it needs to go, Dr. Chickley explains. This extra fat piles up around your belly, hips, and thighs. And according to researchers at Stanford University, lymphatic slowdown causes fat storage to double. This forces your body to hold on to extra weight. This was a big breakthrough for me in understanding why my body was always storing fat even if I was on a diet. According to lymph expert Jenna Makashi, PhD, carrying around extra pounds triggers inflammation, a problem for both your immune system and your waistline. As part of its role as a superhighway, the lymphatic system carries immune cells through your body to infection fighting lymph nodes. However, inflammation thwarts this process by reducing lymph flow. And researchers at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital report that this inflammation triggers the creation of more fat cells to store these toxins in. Which makes losing weight even more difficult. When you have slow lymph flow in your body, as most women do, it forces your cells to hold on to extra weight. It's like those old pair of jeans that you never wear. And yet you can't bring yourself to get rid of them because maybe you'll wear them again. So they sit in your closet, taking up space. It's the same with fat when your lymph flow is congested. Your body just won't get rid of it like it should. And that's how the fat starts piling up in all the wrong places. Are you starting to notice how your body is stacked up against the eight ball without you even knowing? A congested lymph system also causes cellulite if your lymph isn't flowing, your tissues aren't draining excess fluid. This creates a backlog that results in bloating. Even worse, this backed up fluid sticks to fat cells making them bigger. As your fat cells get bigger, they start to burst through your fascia. Which is a protective layer of tissue underneath your skin. When your fat cells start popping through the fascia, it creates a dimple effect. Which leads to cellulite. Combine that with the hormonal changes every woman and man goes through as you get older. Along with being less active, less mobile, and losing precious lean muscle tissue. It's easy to see how cellulite can start popping up all over your butt and thighs. Yet it's not from eating too many calories. It all starts with your lymph system slowing down, killing your ability to burn fat. 
How do you know if lymphatic slowdown is to blame? Do this 10 second self test. Do you eat reasonably healthy without ever losing a single pound? Are your rings sometimes tight on your fingers? Are your joints more sore now compared to when you were younger? Are you often tired even when getting plenty of rest? These signs all point to a congested lymphatic system. When your lymph fluid isn't flowing properly, it causes your tissue to swell. These bloated, inflamed tissues can add up to 15 pounds to your weight and cause you to swell two extra dress sizes. And it causes your fat storage to double. Which is why your stomach may be getting bigger despite eating healthier foods. Luckily, this new quick fix is easier than ever. Especially if you love eating warm meals. It's one of the safest things you can do to look 10 years younger while getting the extra weight off quickly. And it's the missing link most adults overlook when trying to drop pounds. This simple daily ritual thins out a clogged lymph to flush away raw fat when you eat more of these specific soups that support your body, it reduces toxin buildup and allows more fluid to be pumped through the body. Often in as little as 7 days. Once lymphatic fluid is moving freely fat can be burned for fuel and excess toxins can be flushed from the body. Just remember, when your lymphatic system isn't working properly. Because your lymph fluid is too thick from the wear and tear of aging. Fat molecules can't be transported to be burned for fuel. Instead, they stay stuck to your belly, hips, and waistline, causing a buildup of excess pounds. These three missing minerals thin out a clogged lymph to power off pounds now that you know a clogged lymph keeps stubborn pounds on your body. And the key is thinning out your lymph fluid, because when it flows freely, your body can burn fat and flush toxins. Let's talk about exactly what you should do to get this fixed. After my doctor dumped all this new information on me. I started studying cases where people successfully reversed their clogged limps and were losing anywhere from 20 to 55 pounds in a matter of months. And what kept coming up in study after study were these three minerals that most adults are lacking. So my first recommendation would be to start adding foods rich in these minerals right away. Missing mineral number one, potassium the most important thing you can do to flush out the extra pounds is. Reprogram your metabolism to burn fat for energy instead of sugars and carbs. Don't worry, it's a lot easier than you think. And I'll explain how in just a minute. However, in order to do that, you need a lot of potassium. If you ever go up a flight of stairs and your legs feel really heavy or you don't have the endurance. That's a potassium deficiency. Now, why it's really important for fat burning is. Potassium helps regulate fluid in the body. Consuming more potassium helps thin lymph fluid so it can easily flow through the lymphatic tubes, which speeds up slimming. It also helps reduce high blood pressure, protect against strokes, helps prevent osteoporosis, and may help prevent kidney stones. Now, most people think of bananas when it comes to potassium, but. Since they're high in sugar, you'll want to avoid them if you want a smaller waistline. Instead, some great options are mushrooms and zucchini. Missing mineral number 2, magnesium Magnesium is a cofactor. That means it's a helper element that's involved in the activation of certain enzymes. One of magnesium's most important job deals with the mitochondria. Think of mitochondria as little energy bubbles in your cells. Mitochondria produces energy and the spark plug that activates the enzyme to produce more energy is magnesium. If you don't have enough magnesium in your body, you may suffer from asterisk asterisk low energy asterisk asterisk fatigue asterisk asterisk inability to relax asterisk asterisk cramps and muscle spasms asterisk asterisk constipation asterisk asterisk insomnia asterisk asterisk chronic back pain now, here's the kicker. The more extra weight you have on your body, the harder it is for you to absorb magnesium. Which is why studies show that so many overweight adults are lacking in this powerful mineral. It also helps speed up the removal of toxins to reverse a sluggish lymph and banish stubborn pounds. Missing mineral number 3, collagen Collagen is the most abundant protein in our body. It's what makes up our bones, muscles, tendons, connective tissues, and even our skin. Without it, your metabolism slows down. You get wrinkles. And your muscles and joints become weaker. Unfortunately, our body's collagen production naturally begins to slow down as we get older. This leads to visible signs of aging. Wrinkles. Sagging skin. 
and joint pains due to weaker cartilage. Diets high in sugar also deplete collagen levels. However, when you start adding more collagen to your diet, it helps increase your fat-burning metabolism. So you burn more calories and fat throughout the day. It reduces cellulite and wrinkles. It makes your skin look younger and more youthful. And it tightens up loose and saggy skin. Have you ever seen someone lose a lot of weight? And their stomach has this pooch of leftover skin? Collagen helps tighten that up. Which is why. If you haven't already. It's extremely important to get more high quality collagen into your diet. I like to sprinkle some on top of my soups. This daily ritual melted off a couple pounds of stubborn fat every week after my doctor dumped all this new information on me. I was a bit overwhelmed. It was crystal clear that my lymph system was so backed up. My body was hanging on to over 30 pounds of dead weight. Just as I was about to leave. My doctor reached into his desk drawer and pulled out a thin booklet. This is what I give to my most stubborn patients, where the weight just won't come off. It's a soup diet. It has all the minerals and nutrients we talked about. And it's a way to get your body burning fat again without worrying about calories. Because the liquid in the soup naturally fills up your stomach. So there's less room for food. And it'll get your lymph fluid flowing again. So your body will start burning fat. That night, I went over the soup detox my doctor gave me. It seemed simple enough, I had all the ingredients already, and so. I started making soup. Every night for dinner I had a big bowl of soup and usually had enough leftover for lunch the next day. However, there was just one problem. The soups tasted absolutely awful. There was no salt. No flavor. And I had to plug my nose just to choke it down. Desperate to make something happen. My wife, who's an amazing cook, started adding in these secret spices that made the soup pop. Suddenly, the soups tasted amazing, and since I could eat as much as I wanted. I felt like I was in heaven. I couldn't believe it. I had been dieting for over 10 years, I was always cutting calories and worried about eating too much. Yet now, I was eating as much as I wanted and I felt great. The next morning, I woke up and my stomach looked a little flatter. I jumped on the scale and I was already down a pound after just one night. Within five days, things really started to change. I was down three pounds and my size 44 jeans were feeling loose around the waist. I swear my stomach was shrinking. Just a week later, I lost another three pounds and my energy levels were through the roof. And it only got better. Over the next six weeks, I had lost 18 pounds and 6 inches off my stomach and waist. I felt like a completely different person. But that wasn't the best part. My clothes start fitting better from day one. I finally had the energy to go for walks with my wife and really connect with her. And I was no longer exhausted and worn out after another 50-hour work week. Over the next three months a miracle happened by the end of the third month, I finally wore swim trunks in public for the first time. Without a shirt on. That might not seem like a big deal. But it's something I'd never done before. I was down about 50 pounds and my confidence was growing fast. I looked and felt better than I did when I was 20 even more important. I was no longer pre-diabetic and my high blood sugar has been gone for months. Within the first year and a half, I lost a whopping 110 pounds. Getting a clean bill of health from my doctor just a few months later was one of the most amazing moments in my life. My wife cried tears of joy knowing that I'd be around to grow old together. And we got more serious about trying to have kids. Since the weight was coming off so quickly. People at work kept asking what I was doing. And so, I started sharing this simple soup detox with anyone who asked like Gabrielle. She lost 15 pounds eating more soup nothing will ever change unless you try something new.